It would be a good idea if you can pause the video right here and try this problem out. It looks similar to the ones we did previously in examples one and two. The only difference is that the V of T function is a little bit different, but you can use your calculator to graph V of T. Okay, I hope that you tried to do the problem already, but let's go ahead and look at it together. So I'm gonna make the XY plane and I'm gonna graph the function V of T in this case. The graph is gonna be some sort of a line that points kind of toward the upper right of the page. And the graph starts at zero and comma one, because when time is zero, the formula tells me one fourth times zero, which is zero, plus one is one at the end, okay? And in this case, time is measured in minutes, and velocity, in this case, is measured in feet per minute. Cool. So this is the function V of T, which is one fourth T plus one. Um, sorry, there's no parentheses. So for the, no, for the first part of the problem, it says, what's the distance traveled in the first 40 minutes? So let's put 40 right there. And what's the y coordinate going to be like? Well, plug 40 into the formula and let's see what happens. So velocity at 40 would be 1 fourth of 40 plus 1, which is 10 plus 1, which is 11. So the point right there is labeled 40 comma 11. And remember the point at the start was 0 comma 1. And we are looking for the distance traveled by the object in the first 40 minutes. So we're looking for the area inside this shape. Keep in mind that this shape is called a trapezoid. So the area of a trapezoid is gonna be what I just told you a little bit of ago in the unload video. It's pretty much one half times the height of the trapezoid times the small base added to the large base. So in my case, what is the height, what is the small base, and what is the large base? So in the trapezoids, the bases are the size that are parallel to one another. So this right here is the small base, and this over here is the large base. One of them is the tiny one, one of them is the larger one. So those are the bases. And in a trapezoid, the height is the side that is perpendicular to both of those bases, which means that this right here is the height. Let me do that in pink. So that's the height. And how much is the height? I'm starting at the origin all the way to 40. How much space is there from zero to 40? It's 40 steps. Another way of getting that number is to just subtract the second number minus the first number, and you get your height. Now for the small base, the amount is from zero to that point, whatever that is. And that point is zero, 01, so it's one step. And the large base is from the x-axis again all the way to the curve. And the curve right there is 40, 11. So how high is it? It's 11 steps high. So let's plug in all the numbers to get the distance. So the distance in this case is going to be 1 half times the height, which is 40, multiplied by the small base added to the large base. And in this case, the small base is 1 the large base is 11. Okay, so calculators can do this very easily. So 220 and this is in feet. Okay, so the solution is 220 feet. For part one, we're done. Now the question is, how far does the object travel between the first hour and the second hour? Okay, so remember, the first hour means how many minutes have passed. Um, that just means 60 minutes. The second hour is going to happen at the 120th minute. So what they want us to do is basically figure out the area between 60 and 120. So let's redesign the graph and figure out what that area is going to look like. So if you look carefully at example part two, the velocity function is again one fourth um, t plus one. It's the same kind of a graph. And when time is 60, what's the velocity gonna be? So velocity at 60 is gonna be 1 fourth of 60 plus one, whereas at, veloc at 120, the velocity is gonna be 1 fourth of 120 plus one. Okay, so let's put those in a calculator, figure out what those numbers are gonna be, and those are the heights of the curves. 
So I get 16 for the first one and I get 31 for the second one, okay? And again, this is a trapezoid, so the um, area formula is the same, one half height times base plus base. Keep in mind that the height in this problem is the difference from 60 to 120. So what's the H in this case? Well, it's this, the distance. So how much space is there from 60 to 120? It's just 60 steps. So, so far I have one half multiplied by the 60 because that's the height. And I'm supposed to multiply it by the small base added to the large base. And what are those numbers? Well, the small base is that amount right there. That's the tiny base, which is in this case 16. It's the y coordinate of the point on the top of the graph or on top of the trapezoid. And what about this one? That's the large base. The y coordinate of the point is 31. So that's the amount. So 16 for the first one and 31 for the second one. Again, calculators will make an easy job of this. So I'm getting 1,410 and keep in mind that this is in feet. So we traveled 1,410 feet between the first hour and the second hour. In other terms, we traveled 1,410 feet between minute 60 and minute 120.